Hey everybody, welcome back. We're starting this new year off with a bang and we are doing brides and grooms that got caught cheating on their wedding day. And my dad is back there. He's making cabbage rolls cause it's Christmas. Hi dad. <laughs> Did you cheat on him? I was on forced him. to cheat on him, your honor, cause I needed to find a man. I needed a man to take care you of me and You just married him. Children. You just married him. But I had him. been dealing with him for years prior to that. If you were so dissatisfied with who he was that you were forced into the arms of another man on the day of your wedding, why in the world did you marry him in the first place? Because I, I truly did love him. I truly did love him. I was forced to cheat on him. They had a gun to my head. I simply had to cheat on my wedding day. <laughs> right, Dad? I know you're not. Pregnant lady shows up at baby daddy's wedding. <laughs> the drama. I wish I had some popcorn. Dad, can you make me some popcorn? <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's goldfish. Can you give me some goldfish, please? <laughs> goldfish, goldfish, goldfish. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa there, Dad. Settle down. All right. Good to go. And this right here is your reminder to subscribe. You're not going to do it for me. Do it for the little fishes. Do it for my dad, okay? Do it for him. Yeah. The bride learning that her husband was cheating on her during their wedding day and telling me, the photographer, she won't need the photos. Me, 17 years old, having never photographed a wedding before and not knowing how to tell her she hasn't paid me yet. Uh, yeah. Did you get a deposit? <laughs> she still has to pay, unfortunately. What you're supposed to do is get half up front in case something like this happens. Because there is a good chance that you're not gonna get the other half, especially if you're not shooting the rest of the wedding. Get a deposit. Words of wisdom. I understand you are suing to get an engagement ring back that you gave this young lady over here. Correct. Explain to me what happened. About a month before our actual wedding, um, one of our friends had a wedding that we went to. We have, you know, very tight-knit friends. I noticed she was missing, so I went around looking for her and I actually walked in on Cynthia with <gasps> another man and another woman. But it wasn't just any man and woman. It was actually my best man and her maid of honor. <gasps> Shut the front door! Maybe we can work it out. Really? It's just one of those things, yeah. You know, okay. I, I do love so her. So you, you wanted no, to work it out. No, he started screaming, screaming, oh, and went crazy. Screaming? Yes, like he went crazy. crazy. It was, Your Honor, <laughs> making it seem like it was completely different. Your Honor, yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel, and like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend, came in, and I probably should have like not let that happen. But it was just like a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly like drunken like being silly in a hot tub. He showed kidding. up and went completely <laughs> crazy. I apologize. I, I I don't think it was something to call a wedding off over. So you don't think it was a big deal that you cheated on him? It was just making out. I didn't even really think it was cheating. At a wedding when <laughs> everyone's drunk? I mean, I don't, I don't even have a good comeback for that one. Does kissing constitute as cheating? I open up the question to you folks. To me, kinda does. Especially if the fiance wasn't there, didn't know that it was happening. I would say that it constitutes as cheating. But you let me know. Did you ask for the ring back? Yes. And she said no. Correct, very Your Honor, in the state well. of California, the law states that this is an unconditional gift. Okay. So I'm entitled to the ring. It's mine. Did you think it was morally appropriate for you to keep that ring? I did. Why? I was heartbroken. Why Your do you Honor deserve that ring? Because I'm still ready to get married. I'm a finance banker. How do you get these guys? Uh, what is it about you get these two good looking professional guys? Uh, yeah, okay, tell me about go it. Ahead. But, um, Ouch, that's got a sting. My baby brother and Miss Cynthia are literally having sex in my bed. And like I say, it, it threw me wow, off. Wow, you know? were you Stop. drunk? Was it just a mistake? Your Honor, I was, this was seven years ago. I was like 22 years oh old. Oh my God. It was, it was a mistake. mistake. I oh apologize. My God. I just want my ring back, the engagement ring. I spent 10 grand on it. Yes, ma'am, but um, she hit me with this, this California law. I proposed oh. to her in California. She's a California resident. Is that I'm what she told you? You want me to take it off? Yeah, of course, please. It's a beautiful diamond. Thank Jeez. you. Jeez. 
Give it to Mr. Vaughn, please. It's his. It's not yours. Good. Good. It's legally his because, you know, you're very smart, and I think it's a really great little scam you have going on for yourself here. It's the donor. He gave it to me. He broke up. Therefore, I get to keep it. But in these no-fault states, there's also something called fraud. So it is my opinion that you on purpose did this so you can keep the ring. So it was your actions, <gasps> your unfaithfulness that made him break up with you. So therefore, he would have never broken up with you but for the fact that you got drunk and it was no big deal and you made out with the girl and the boy and then that's it, end of story. You should be ashamed the point. of yourself. Here, here, I agree with, with this verdict. <laughs> Just think about it. This woman is out here scamming men out of engagement rings and I'm single. <laughs> I had sex with a priest before my wedding. You did? What do you look like? He is a priest. He is a hot priest. I lost my virginity on my wedding night, not to my husband, but to the limo driver. Okay, again, what do you look like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really? Like, really? Okay. Groom takes revenge on his cheating bride by playing a video of her naked in bed with her brother-in-law at their wedding in front of shocked guests. Guests to their wedding were stunned to see the five minute long. <laughs> Media reports suggest the incident took place in Fujian, China last Thursday. While some people believe it to be real, others argue it is a marketing stunt. Well, allow me to assess. Oh, and she throws the bouquet! She throws the bouquet! <laughs> How dare you humiliate me at my own wedding! How dare you cheat on me with my friend? <laughs> oh, it wasn't his friend. It was his brother. Yeah, that's a little messy, eh? Why, yes it is. Wife catches husband in the process of marrying another woman, disrupts the wedding, says husband slept in their matrimonial home last night. Mother. Wow. People are just getting up and leaving. Dude, I'd be mad as hell if I was her. Wow. Imagine having the balls to walk into a wedding and cause a freaking scene because your husband is marrying another woman. I cheated on my husband on our wedding day and married the guy I cheated with one year later. Well, I love a happy ending. I'm happy for you. Not really. Some people are just friggin' greedy, eh? Fiance so cheated on me two weeks before our wedding part three. Situation on me because he doesn't want to accept the fact that his son is an actual piece of shit. And we get through the sessions with him and we end up staying together for another like week. And throughout this week, he's like, I'm like, you're gonna stop talking to this girl. You're gonna cut off all communication, blah, blah, blah. And I wanna see you do it. He looks me dead in the face and he's like, I'm not gonna show you any of our conversations. Like, that's stupid. I'm, I'll do it, I'll get it done, and I won't talk to her anymore. So we're at dinner like a couple days later with um, our friends and I hear his phone go off. And so I look at him and I'm like, who is that? Of course I know who it is already, but this f looks at me in the face again, dead in the face, eye contact and all, and he goes, that's none of your business. What? And what? right then and there, I realized it was not going to work out because I finally came to my senses and I broke up with him. I went on Instagram to like stalk this chick a little bit, you know? She had already blocked me. He got together with her immediately and they got married within six months. And they have a baby now and she still has me blocked on Instagram, which I think is f***ing hilarious. But I hope you guys have a terrible life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do hope they have a good life together. I think. Wow, the pettiness is real with this one, but rightfully so. I'm here for this pettiness. The people in this video are just freaking greedy. I found out my fiance cheated on me with an ex of his. Lucky for me, I shacked up with the best man, his brother, and we are now on the honeymoon. Happy days. <laughs> I actually really love that for you, girl. I really do. Might as well, right? <laughs> Wedding was canceled two weeks ago. Ex-fiance was leading a double life. New lies keep popping up every day. <laughs> it's the buffering for me. That's fun. How you doing? You okay? Alrighty, guys. Those were some brides and grooms that got caught cheating on their wedding day. Happy New Year to you all. Don't cheat on your wedding day. Cool? Do you need reminding? Because these people definitely did. Subscribe!